Scots College of Wellington rises up in all its splendour out of the suburb of Strathmore, like Stephen Adams manning the paint in the NBA or Victor Vito at the base of a scrum. Both notable sporting alumni of Scots. The mantra, let education make the all-round man, has guided this year's first 15 captain, Mawala Katoa, to being a top musician, chapel prefect with goals of becoming a doctor, a young man with well-rounded goals, not only in his rugby future, but all aspects of life. All right, first 15 captain, Mawala, thank you so much, my man, for joining us. Tell me, describe it to me, the moment the bagpipes start up, the boys are all pumped and you're about to run on the field. Talk me through it, how does that feel? First, um, you know, playing a good game, like as an individual, also trying to keep calm and leading the boys, especially with all the atmosphere and the bagpipes um, and like the support from the school, just trying to keep calm and specific. And like we're talking right now, trying to like talk like that to the um, refs as well. Um, also keeping that discipline as well, yeah. What is uh, something that you've taken from dudes that have led you in the past, so other captains that you've played under? To be a leader on the field is just leading yourself first. So starting with yourself instead of uh, you know, saying and then doing the walking as well. So not saying and then not doing it. Um, huge example is uh, Peter Umanga Jensen from last year. Um, you know, I looked up to him as well and quite uh, other leaders from the team last year. But, um, you know, how he led the team calmly. Um, he wasn't really stressed, but, um, you know, try to keep calm and specific to the team and to the boys and keeping everything positive and controlled, yeah. Is it hard? Balancing studies, I mean, you're also as a prefect, a chapel prefect, as well as a hard balancing all that workload and, and, and also playing your rugby? Uh, yeah, I would say it's hard, but um, I've gotten used to it and gotten better at managing my time, um, you know, revolving around rugby and music and school as well. So um, as a kid, you know, um, my dad always kept me busy with church and music, so I think uh, as I grow up, as I grew up, um, my time management and managing you know, rugby and school became a, lo a little bit easier. What drives you to do good at school? At, at school? Do, with you keeping your marks up, do you have uh, uh, something that motivates you and makes sure you're doing your best? Um, family, obviously, is number one. Uh, God and also uh, the school support. Uh, but also just seeing um, you know, a lot of pers uh, Pacific people and you know, other people um, playing rugby as well. Um, and just you know, noticing that um, after rugby, they kind of struggle a little bit. So kind of motiva uh, motivating me that I don't make the same mistake. So that if I do um, have a chance in pursuing rugby, I also have a um, chance after rugby as well. So yeah, it's another career um, after rugby. So a good job, yeah. Okay, so time to throw someone on the bus now in the team. Think about through the first 15, who's the worst dancer in the team? <laughs> worst dancer will probably be Ty Nelly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bust a couple of moves sometimes when he scores a try, but uh, yeah, he's probably got the worst dance moves. When you walk out the gates of Scots College for the last time, what is it you'd like people to say about you? Uh, first of all, I'd like to leave a good legacy, but also to know me not only as a rugby player, uh, captain of first team, but also uh, you know someone who strives um, not only for rugby but um, at school as well. So uh, I think that's like quite quite a lot of. Um, Pacific people think it's just out of school, then maybe rugby and do your job. But um, just again, pushing that acad um, my academic levels and again, uh, trying to improve the school and the team.